work on us, because we are together, Serena and I. Now in 20 minutes, party time! <laughs> Unfortunately, you won't be able to see the fireworks, because you'll be part of Big help. Did you find someone who recognizes the address? Yes, Bill Sims knows it firsthand. He did an article on the company that uh, creates the 4th of July fireworks display every year. This is the address of their warehouse on the outside of town. Maybe Vicki and Roger are doing some kind of follow-up on his story. No, what they're working on doesn't have anything to do with fireworks. But I got a gut feeling that something isn't quite right. Where is our son? Your son is in the warehouse, tucked safely away. You're gonna kill him, aren't you? Why? What did he ever do to you? Are you so demented and deranged that you would take the life of an innocent child? He couldn't incriminate you. He's too young. He doesn't even know what's going on. I am not demented or deranged. I will never take an innocent child's life. No, we're going to find him a very happy home with loving parents. For a price, that is. We gave you $500,000 to return out. We had a bargain, Ambrose. Well, I am canceling it. Consider it as a fee for finding a home for your child. After all, you can't take it with you, and we can certainly use it. You're the one with the lying tongue. No, it's for the dick of it! Serena! 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 We're all gonna die. On Sunday, Cosby time is panic time when Claire goes bonkers over a baby. Will there be one more chick in the Huxtable net? Not if Cliff can help. Ambrose's father's gonna go off in 20 minutes and we're all gonna be dead. Max! Max! Can you hear me? There's a lot of blood here. Please help me, let us know you're alive. Gabriel. Please call. I've got to help him. I'm going to try to stop the bleeding. Oh, that's terrible. Please. I don't know if he's going to make it. No, don't say that. Don't even think that. You're all right. You're going to be all right. I need you. Al needs you. Did you hear that? He's alive. Court, court, you try to open that door. Yeah, right. Good idea. device around here someplace, and we've got to find it. Ambrose had a short-range transmitter, which means it's going to be right here in the room someplace. Well, let's throw the box. Good idea. I'll open up the office. Love you need and you deserve it. He needs it. 
Captain deserves you, and you're going to be there. We're both going to be there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It didn't work out. You know, for a hard time, I gave to you. <laughs> there is. All the time we wish. And we could have spent together. I realized that. Back. Stop talking. This is the trial. You need to do something. long hours we spent. We spent. We didn't have to. You're going to have men walk those moments. Not much more I can do for him. I've given him all the first aid I know. I've tried to make him as comfortable as possible. I'm just afraid he made his injury worse by helping us break through the door. Any luck? No. No, sir. We're all completely sealed off in the windows and doors. We are absolutely trapped here, just the same as we were in China. Well, we got out of there alive, didn't we? We'll get out of here. Come on, we've got to help Gordon's knees on that side. 